Hey everybody, so we're gonna show you how to reconstitute your vial that you've gotten um, here from us. We wanna make sure you understand this is pretty straightforward. The vial you should've gotten has the compound at the bottom. This works for any peptide, any uh, other um, compounded medicine that you may have purchased through us or any resource drug you may have purchased through us. Pretty straightforward. You're gonna go ahead and pop your top off here always. Okay, we're gonna pop the top off here and ideally, you wanna have some nice sterile wipes. So this is what we try to tell everybody here. Always keep everything sterile when you're doing this. So ideally, grab yourself some wipes. Uh, if you don't have wipes, you can take some alcohol on a rag, same concept, right? And rip open your wipe. You always wanna pull out your little alcohol wipe here. Always, this is just good practice, good demeanor. You're gonna wipe here. Same thing here, you're gonna pop the top off your barriostatic water, barriostatic water. If you don't have any of this, you can get some right on the site. You buy it with your compound, and this is what you mix to uh, make your uh, peptide or your drug 100% uh, liquid again, okay? So this is going to make the powder into liquid, okay? Straightforward. There should be an expiration on all of these, so you should always look for that. Um, so pretty straightforward. We're going to pop the top off of this. And once we pop the top off, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to clean that top. Make sure it's nice and clean, okay? Now, <clears throat> best practice, for a lot of people who don't know, is we tell people, buy yourself a larger gauge needle. The reason why you want to buy, pop, buy yourself a larger gauge needle is because you want to make sure that you can suck out enough water you need. Now, for most of our solutions, you only need one cc, but look at the ratio. For what we're going to do today, this one's going to be one and a half cc's, but most of the time it's just one cc, so you can figure out your dosage. But if you don't know, you can go to our website, and there is a dosing and a, and a reconstituting diagram there that tells you how much you want for your milligrams, depending on how much you want to inject, right? So it's pretty straightforward. So pretty straightforward, you're gonna just take your little bit of your needle here, pop it in. You're gonna draw some water here. So we're gonna draw some water here in the needle, just like that, nothing crazy. Now I'm gonna get the 1.5 cc's I need. So bear with me one second here. I might go off camera just a little bit to make sure I can see this myself. Yeah, 1.5 cc is there, perfect. Then you're just gonna pull your needle out, okay? So typically I tell everybody, once you have your water in there, you're gonna go ahead and pull that plunger back. All our bottles are vacuumed because we don't want any air in them for the compound to keep it safe while traveling, but also for pressure and all that, and then also keeping the drugs as dry as possible. So we try to have no, this gets water, I'm sorry, this gets air sealed, so this is really tight. So when I put this needle in now, I'm gonna take my reconstituting needle, with my compound. I'm just gonna stick it in there, right on the top there, right in the middle. I'm gonna do a nice little poke there. And then naturally, the drug's gonna stop flying in there. The air's gonna get pushed right out through the needle. You can push it, but it'll suck itself out because it's, like I said, it's dry vacuum. All you do is just pull your needle out. Boom, you're done. That's it. Now, you're gonna have a little bit of powder in there. Typically, we tell everybody, just get and take this between your two hands and you're gonna rub back and forth for a couple seconds there. This is gonna help mix it, okay? Great. And as you can start seeing, all that starts disappearing. And you wanna give it about 20 seconds of doing that, rubbing back and forth there, and then it'll become one solid solution, right? It'll become one solid thing. And then all you do is take your diabetic needle, grab yourself a pack of these at any pharmacy. You can buy them right over the counter. These are just insulin syringes. And depending on what you need or where you're gonna inject, you can buy whatever diameter needle. You don't need a big needle, let me tell you that. Here is one that we've just set up for one of our current customers, patients. Small, very, can you see that? Very small needle compared to our huge needle for drawing. This just goes right into the tummy. This is actually our weight loss drug. Gets injected right into the tummy, a little small poke, very small, don't even feel it, half the time, and that's it. And that is how you reconstitute your drug. At this point, it's reconstituted, as you can see here. If you see any white, just keep rubbing back and forth, pretty straightforward, but that should be it. And then once you're done with this, again, every time you draw a needle into this, clean it with the alcohol wipe, put your needle in, draw your medicine or your dosage, and then you're done. And then just make sure you refrigerate this. Put this in a place, safe place in your fridge. I usually tell people, put it in a Ziploc bag just to keep it safe. Or if you got it in a container with us, um, we sometimes give a slide container. You can just put it in your slide container and then put it in the fridge. It'll keep it nice and safe. And that's it. Pretty straightforward, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.